at my foster home now, I get treated more like a little boy, not like an angry lion ready to get a piece of stale meat, like I did at Junior Village. And I don't have to get hit on the head like a ferocious bear. Every strong organization has a genius in its beginning. A spirit, a vision, there's something there. It was a place called Junior Village, where they placed children when they were taking them from their homes. This place was as abusive as any home could be because it was so void of real caring and of relationship. This was the wrong way to care for children. Clock began at that point. Now that Junior Village was closed, we were either through with our job or we were at the beginning. So we started our wilderness school. We would take kids in the early stages of trouble as a diversion. I still have contact with some of those. This was 40 years ago. But that was a turning point in their lives. So then there was a series of other programs. We decided, okay, we're going to find out what the parents think. We asked them one question. What is winning for you? And almost every family says, our children are winning when they have a safe place to play and when they're getting a good education. So that's how the Neighborhood Tutoring Program got started. We were attracting all these volunteers, saying, what can we do? People were looking for a place to make a difference. And Flock was giving people a place to make a difference. Every so often, the organization has to go through change. I remember trying to say, what is it we're really trying to be about? What came to me is to help cultivate, promote, push, serve a city of cohesive neighborhoods in which every child and every family is known and valued and has access to the resources they need to thrive. The way Flock got started was believe very strongly in radical commitment. 